Thank you everyone for attending the memorial service for my father in Hamburg. My name is Elizabeth. I'm the elder daughter of In Hong and Soon Her. And my father was known to many as Ben, like Ben Her. <laughs> but also the name Ben suited him. Um, one of his friend's kids calls him Uncle Ben. Uh, preparing this eulogy was emotional, but it allowed my family and me to reflect on all of the beautiful memories we shared with my father. I'd like to tell you a little bit about my father's life, the lessons that he taught us, and just what made him so exceptional as a husband, a father, a friend, and a Christian. My father was raised in the big port city of Incheon, South Korea. It was there that he grew up loving boats, fishing, and the outdoors. He was always extremely active and had a lifelong appreciation for nature, one of God's many gifts. I like to think that my dad was one of these gifts. He was a gifted musician, and he met my mother in the Seoul National University Medical School Orchestra, where she played the violin and he played the French horn. My dad always said it was love at first sight. They nurtured a connection so strong between my father and mother that not even the Atlantic Ocean could separate them. So my mother had uh, immigrated to the US to continue her nursing career, and my father moved to London to do a master's degree at Guildhall School of Music and Drama. And during this time, they wrote each other really nice um, love letters. And they're letters of poetry and art, and it's far beyond what I could have imagined. Um, to this day, my mother has kept every single handwritten letter that my father sent to her from London. And um, my parents married in Baltimore, Maryland, and they just celebrated their 36th wedding anniversary um, on April 16th together. Although he selected music as his first career, he really put his heart into everything he pursued. I can't think of a person as multidimensional and talented as my father. He served in the U.S. Army at Fort Monmouth in the 389th Army Band. Seven years later, after honorable discharge, he sacrificed his music career to pursue design engineering. He was an engineer for 28 years and is listed as the sole inventor for numerous patents for fire alarm system components. He retired this February. A couple weeks ago, when he was in the hospital, he got a text message from a coworker saying that his final product design was UL approved. He was so happy, and we are incredibly proud of his great achievements. Whenever I see his design products, I am reminded of him and all that he did to support us. There was not one thing my father did that did not have heart and passion poured into it. With this passion, he was able to excel in just about everything you could imagine. And I, I think you know some of these things, such as music, um, competitive speed skating when he was a teenager. <laughs> he was actually really good. Um, archery and longbow hunting, fly fishing, sailing, ballroom dancing, golfing, and especially riding his motorcycle. He became Rolling Thunder Chapter 2's Writer of the Year in 2010, a recognition from his brothers that truly made him feel honored, and it really thrilled our family. All of these activities my dad worked tirelessly on taught my sister and me to keep challenging ourselves and live life to the fullest. The thing he excelled the most at was being the most caring and loving father to his favorite girls. Although my dad was a peaceful man, he was also a fighter. He fought hard for his family's well-being, and he never gave up on anything that came his way. Standing up here and telling you about his character makes me so proud to be his daughter. My dad was the eldest of three children, and he has always been a role model to his younger brother and sister, and to my family, to us. My dad had a soft side, and he would selflessly do anything to make my mother, sister, and me happy. He drove us endlessly to make sure my sister and I got to our piano lessons and ballet lessons, hockey games, youth group, youth choir, practice on time. 
And he designed and built a tree house in our yard and took care of our dog, Cookie, even though Kathy said she would do it. <laughs> um, when I was in college, he drove me seven hours to Virginia and back um, every semester in the snow, um, even in the snow. And when my sister was on the Rutgers rowing team, my dad went to every crew race, driving everywhere from Boston to Philadelphia to see a glimpse of my sister pass by in a boat. And right before my PhD defense, which was going to be in a room full of world experts and the entire department of neuroscience. He said, don't worry, you've worked hard, and you can always look at me in the audience if you feel nervous. Just seeing him and mom there really made all the difference. I'm so glad that we got to spend so much time together and we were so close. I won't miss my father more than words can say. Life without him here will be the hardest thing I'll ever have to face. But I know he will be here in spirit watching over us always. The most important thing in my dad's life has been his faith in God. My father developed a strong relationship with God, and he was a spiritual man and an active member of this church. During the last days of his life in the hospital, he only kept two books in the room. It was the Bible and a study guide for the Bible. And regardless of his health condition, he kept his hope alive and strong, and he was get guided by his faith all throughout his life. On his last day, my father, my family surrounded my father. Um, he was in the hospital bed, and we held his hands. Before he peacefully left this earth, he saw us and he recognized us, and we prayed that God would take care of him. I am filled with immense gratitude that we were able to share those precious moments with him and let him know that our faith has stayed just as strong. Today we remember and celebrate the beautiful life of my father in Hong, Ben Kerr. Dad, even though you are not with us here physically, I know you will never leave us. Thank you for all that you've done for us. We love you very much and well forever. Thank you so much, Elizabeth, for those beautiful.